But anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of the finished product. Um, hi, Tina. How are you? So I got this piece of foam and I'm cutting out strips about this big, about yay big, um, to make my french fries. To the store and got this foam cutter. Maybe it'll make cutting my french fries out easier. They'll be doing it. I thought like this would be good. What do you think? Because then there'd be room for the arms without having to make armholes. Okay. What do you think? Grand. Okay, so I glued. I'm making a video of this part. So I've glued my french fry box together and I've taken some of my french, foam french fries and I've cut a few of them down and then I'm, now I'm going to glue them in here at different heights to make it look like a nice full container of fries. Okay. We're almost done with the french fries. Here we are so far. I'm gonna paint a little crown here, a tad askewed. This is where the face is gonna come through. This isn't really black, but that's okay. I think I want that to be bigger, so we're gonna we're gonna fill it in with that color anyway. I wonder, Eric, do you think down here I should do like a little bow tie too? What are we talking about? Like a little bow tie? Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a little, little bow tie down here. I don't know if y'all can see that. We'll aim it down a little, camera down a little more. Hey, don't be done on my bow tie. Okay. Because the hole is for a face, so it would only make sense to have a bow tie. Crazy french fry head. This is just a generic french fry character. It's not from anything. Okay, so here is the finished French fry costume. I have to cover that duct tape. So this is just foam, like cushion foam. That one's loose, so I'll just show you. So I cut it into French fry like strips and spray painted them. Uh, kind of like a toasty yellow, like, uh, you know, certain French fries. And then I cut a hole out for my face. I, u <laughs> I used my face cast to measure it and then put the crown on it. And I put a bow tie on it. It just felt right, but I don't know. You don't have, but this is basically, this is one of those project boards. You can get them at the Dollar Tree that it's trifold and this I opened up, spray painted it red, and then the back is also spray painted red, and that is just a piece of a uh, big box that I used for the back. And the back I've cut out 
like that. And then this one you see is cut out like that. Really very easy to put together. I just duct taped it and spray painted the duct tape. It's not gonna hold permanently for a more permanent thing. I would use something else or um, even hot glue it, but I wanted smooth edges. So, and this isn't for the long haul. Um, I have an idea for it, for a, a little parody, but I don't know if we're actually gonna accomplish that or not. But anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of the finished product. Um, hi, Tina. How are you? Do I get my French fries? Mm -hmm. I'm the French fry king. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but this is the French fry costume. So it's just um, a project board that I, I kind of glued and taped together, spray painted it red, painted a little crown on here with a little white to make it look highlighted um, and a little bow tie for my french fry mascot and then the french fries are foam really easy to do um, and super fun uh, just uh, fit some foam on the inside so it'll sit on my head but uh, that's not really working for me right now because I got to scooch down um, not like a comfortable all night long Halloween costume but still quite cute um, you can really stuff it with foam to make it more comfortable, but <laughs> this is it, and um, I kind of show you the steps I take in making it. If there's anything I've left out, I'll voice over, um, even though that's like my least favorite thing to do, but anyway, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I actually think it's pretty cool.